Hi guys, it's Ben from JBD Hobbies and Interests and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a silo for your 132 scale farm. I'll see you there. Hi guys, anyway, so this is what you'll need. You'll need some UHU glue, which is like a thick glue sort of thing. Um, you'll need some PVA white glue. Uh, pretty cheap, you can pick that up pretty cheap. You'll need a knife. Like sort of like this. Um, you'll need a big dog tin of food. Like if you have dogs, you know, get this. And this is certainly you can get that at, like as the Tesco's doesn't matter. You'll need a circular uh, piece of cardboard, and you'll need to find the centre and you know split it like this, like that. So it, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. You need a clothes peg um, for when your your glue is drying to hold it in place. So a clothes peg, and you need a circle to draw out your your thing here uh, on a bit of. Well, I used a brown a brown flakes box. So um, so you won't be needing this now because I've already cut it out. It doesn't matter if it's um, a bit, you know. A bit rough, doesn't matter. So uh, first things first, um, we're gonna uh, glue this. So what you want to do? So you'll see here, right here. You can, if you push it, the one underneath the other, and then hold it, and then you should have some sort of cone. See, that's what you're going for at the moment. You want to have it a decent point on top. You don't want it have it too flat. So about this will do. Anyway, so this is what it will look like, you know. Right. Anyway, now for the PVA glue. You want to get your thing and what side's going to be underneath the other, right? So I know um, this side here is going to be um, underneath the other one. So you're going to get a bit of glue. I'm doing this the messy way, guys, and. We can do just gonna spread it all around the area. Nice and you know, nice or you know, not too much, just enough. And then um, what you can do is just then you're gonna fold it. And then once you've folded it, make sure it's a bit you make sure it's straight, sort of. And then what you're gonna do, you're just gonna hold it tight with a peg. And then you should just wait for it to dry. So I'll be back when it's dried. Okay, guys. So I've took the peg off. It seems to have set, so we can get rid of this. Now we want our UHU glue. Um, we can move this out of the way for a second. Now we're going to get our dog tin can. Um, and then what we're going to do? We're just going to get it, and we're going to just make it go around the rim. Of the top of the can. Maybe twice if you don't cover it all. Right. Now, once you've done this, obviously put the glue cap on because it is a bit sticky. And then all you're going to do is when you've, you just want to put it, put the roof on what you've made, and you're going to push it down. Might just push it not too hard because otherwise it might collapse in. But enough to just, you know, get it on. Enough to keep it on there. Looks like it just sticks on like this. And then, and then you can see what it does look like. And then when that's all painted up, that's gonna look brilliant for your 132 scale farm. Um, this is the second one I've made. Um, and yeah. They're pretty cool to make. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was inspired by Dave from the channel, my granddad. Uh, I did mess up a little bit. I glued it the wrong way around. Um, I put the letters on top, which is quite a bad idea to do. It's better off to do the blank side. That's why I switched it. Sorry I didn't say anything about it. But I switched it. It's easier to paint that way anyway, because then, you know, it's not really gonna show if you leave some parts. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, 
See you later.